So boats have been a really important theme of your mm-hmm. work for years. Can you yeah. tell us a little bit about some of them? Right, yes. Well, um, years ago, actually, yeah, I was involved with uh, building lifeboats at school, actually, and I really loved it. It was a great escape, and I worked on a yacht for a while. And then I sailed down to, to France on the White Heather, a traditional Manx fishing boat, and met up with all the lug, the Cornish luggers, which was fantastic. And I hadn't realised that the, the, the Cornish luggers and the Manx fishing boats are related, which is fascinating. Anyway, I'd loved it. The whole boat scene was wonderful. And so I became more and more involved with the sailing world and did a lot of um, design work for boats, festivals and sailing events all around the world, actually. Um, and I've sort of put this to aside a, a little bit, but I still do the artwork for Peel Boat Weekend, which is here. Is the, it was one of the first... The second Triscoll after the Lorient one, and um, with the traditional the traditional boats that come to the boat weekend around it, and then this sort of developed into these other Triscolls where also reading the Celtic wisdom. It's like combining the themes. It's the wisdom, and the interlace and the boats. This, this other one I read each day is a journey. So this Triscoll has a, a traditional Manx fishing boat, a Manx nicky. Um, so sort of sailing, there's, and there's six points where there's no sails. One, it's got the mizzen, and then the main, and then the jib, and then a sort of topsail, and then one other one that I can't remember his name, and the last one <laughs> going round the Triscoll. So it's, yeah, it's developing uh, around. So that's, that's like, a, it's, it's like development, because the Triscoll is also about growth and movement, and journey. it's also all the journeys thing as well. Um, and this one is just a, a purer spiral once again with the Manx Nicky on it. And also with the Manx Nicky, I have used it as my logo because I'm Nicola. So that was <laughs> all the peel Nicky. Um, so yeah, so that, that was that was that logo really. And then also the top Triscoll, um, I, one of the reasons I went off sailing a bit was I was getting more and more seasick. And, um, but I loved it. But I always loved arriving in harbour. It was just the best thing. And it all the lee of the land. And um, this Triscoll is kind of, it's like coming back to safety. It's, being, it's almost like being hugged by the land. And you have the guiding lights there or the beautiful beach and the thought of just, yeah, being there. And, or maybe setting off to another beautiful spot. And that, that was the idea behind that. And actually going back to the thing of having something in the centre, tiny, tiny in the middle, there's somebody um, with a telescope looking out to sea is often a very ancient fishing tradition of waiting waiting for the boats to come back you know, with, with, with your family on. How yeah. did you develop the style of the knot work? Was it very complicated to work out the lines in the, in the first time? Well, you know, I lived in the hills years ago when I didn't drive and there was hardly any buses. I look back at it now, I spent hours and hours drawing knot work onto jewellery. Um, and I think I just got really good at drawing it, and I can I can just I'm just really fast now, at it. But that was often very simple, and these are much much more complex. But I could just do it. It's like it arrived. It's, I can show you some sketches um, of how these developed, and you just look at it. You you develop. It's a bit like you, you do it until it looks right as well. I mean, it's it's measured, but not particularly. You it's a bit. I always say with boat design, if it looks right, it is right. And that's what I've done with these Triscolls. So it's, it's complex, but somehow I've, I've done so much of it, it's simple. It's, they say you have to do miles on paper, and I've done a lot of miles. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. So these, yeah. Um, and it's been fun also simplifying it, because this is actually quite a simple one. And what was interesting was um, I did a mandala course earlier this year, and they were talking about uh, putting intention into a painting, which I didn't really know about. It's all these things that I just did. Um, and I had... To, so if you put love into a painting or joy into a painting, they say that it, it radiates out, which is a fascinating thing. So anyway, this one was actually, I think, the first Triscoll that I did. And it was done very... It, it, for, for the Lorient ones, but it's very freely. So there's almost like a different energy behind it. And I had one lady who looked a bit magic coming to the show, and she was getting visions from that one, which was really strange. She said, this one is very different to the rest. And I had to agree with her, because it, this one was done with a very different energy to these ones, which were, had an, an intention of having to depict something behind them, which is, yeah, I have, it's, it's all in the I'm learning <laughs> school of thought. <laughs> but yeah, that's it. So that, I think this is, this is actually a really important one. 
And that's the true yes. sense of an uh, sense of an artist that they're always learning. Yeah, very yeah. much so. Yes, and I know that I've got a lot to learn. That's what's exciting. <laughs> this is fantastic work. Thank you. <laughs>